Hi, this is Ben Bryan of FirstObject.com. Here is an XML file called play.xml. I'll open it up in the First Object XML editor, and to see the structure better, let's format it with an indent. You can see the title element is the immediate child of the root play element. I'd like to create an application that extracts the play title and displays it in a dialog using CMarkup. I'll create an app in Visual C++ 6.0, specify MFC, and name it XML Example. Simple dialog. It creates the app with a static control called IDC static. To add C markup, I'll go to the web, download the zip file. The zip file contains C markup and a demo project. All I need from this zip file is markup.cpp and markup.h. Copy them into my example project folder. And add them to my Visual Studio project. Here you see markup.cpp in the project. Because I'm using MFC, I need to go into the markup CPP settings and turn off precompiled headers. Now let's go into the dialog class. Include markup.h. Go down to the init dialog method. Create a C markup object called XML and load the play.xml file. First, we navigate to the root element, which was play. It is not necessary to specify it, but we will for illustration purposes. Then we need to go inside the play element and go to the title element. There are faster ways to do that, but this is the simplest. Now we extract the title string. and displayed in the static control. Build it. Run it. We've done it. We've created an application that extracts and displays the title from play.xml. Now to step through what we did, I'll set a breakpoint and debug it. Okay, it is at the point where it will load. Here is the C markup object. The document string member is empty. Step. Here is the document. The debug member that points to the main position is called main DS. When I load the document, it is empty. 
step. Now it points to the play element. Step. Now we are inside of the play element and the main position is empty. And now we're going to go to the title step. Now we are at the title element. Step. Get the play title string. That shows you how it works. Thanks for your time.